This would be the beast. These are the various colors that I have loaded up right now. We've got red, blue, I've added green, and I have yet to test this black. The way this operates is everything gets degreased and has to be completely clean. There can't be fingerprints, any oil, any dirt, anything like that. Basically, we submerge on a conductive jig, connect our power, and fire up air and the coolant. If you notice this pump here, this is something I figured out earlier this year. Everything is chemical safe, and what it does is it circulates this diluted acid through this pump, down through a chiller, and then returns it back to the tank through this tube. Also on this pickup is a temperature sensor which cycles that pump. The process for anodizing is we have to apply a specific current and a certain voltage for a certain period of time. It spends approximately two hours in this bath after a serious rinse. Put it into our heated dye tank, whichever color we need. 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the shade of the color. The longer I leave it, the darker it gets. Once it gets done with the dye bath, take it out, we rinse it off, and then it goes in this sealant bath. I appreciate you watching.